Well, hey, y'all. I have been craving some chicken wings, and I found some in the store. And with all these basketball games that's on the TV, the uh, Sweet 16, the, uh, what was it, the, uh, now we're down to the Final Four, and Arkansas lost out, so. But anyway, it's, it's good to watch the people that are really good at what they do, do it really well. So what I have here, I bought a package, and it had, it was four pounds, it had 15 chicken wings. So I cut them into three pieces. You have the little drummy, and then you have the flat, and then you have the little wing. Now the wings I saved, I'm gonna pop these in the freezer, and next time I make chicken bone broth, I've got some wings to put in there. I'm gonna do two different batches, and both batches will be very similar in that I'm gonna use, so you stay right there, don't, don't touch nothing. Sometimes you gotta talk things, y'all. I'm gonna put about two heaping tablespoons, you know, the soup spoon, of uh, baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. And this will help everything get crisp up, and there's no measuring to this, y'all. I'm just gonna put, so when I don't get my spoon contaminated in something else, I'm just gonna put two great big old spoonfuls in my Ziploc bags here. I meant to do these out on the smoker and the, the weather's not, it's not playing nice. It's just too windy and I don't, I don't wanna be out there and all that. The first one I'm gonna do is a Cavender's Greek seasoning. Now it comes in a blue container and a green container. If you get the one in the blue container, it does not have any gluten in it. And you should have saw me do the happy dance in the store when I found this stuff. I was happy. I'm gonna use about two to three, the same size spoon. Hang on a minute, y'all. Sometimes you gotta talk to it. Everything needs to talk to, don't it? All right, let's see. That was about a half of one right there. Two. Okay, there's three right there. And in this sack, this is Myron Mixon, the king of barbecue. This is his, um, dry rub and it is keto friendly and i'll i will put the recipe to that up in the top y'all there's gonna be a whole bunch of recipes today so i'm gonna put two uh, let's throw another one in there for good measure okay now you could use whatever you like y'all you don't have to use this but i am just going to I'll do half of this and then uh, I'll turn y'all off and because and, you'll get the gist of it. I'm going to cook half of the flats and half of the drummies in each. So, and I did put, um, the rest of them I did cut up like this. Let's see, put four in there. I got to count y'all. And I'm going to vacuum seal those and put them in the freezer until next time. And then we will, let's see, let's, let's see what we got going here. Let's see if we got, if, if this was enough powder stuff. Y'all remember that shake and bake commercials back when, when there's little kids and the and little girl would say, and I helped. That's so cute. Anyway, all right. Let's see what we got here. Okay, they're coated very nicely. Now what I'm gonna do, whenever they come out, I'm gonna turn these over after they've cooked about halfway. And so I'm gonna put the pretty side down on the first cooking. And so whenever I turn them over, they'll be pretty on the other other side when they get finished. And it really matters more for the flats than it does the, I mean, yeah, for the flats than it does the drummies because they kind of look the same all the way around. So I'm just gonna put these on my sheet and we will get together. Wait, let me tell you what I got going over here. I got the oven on 400. And I add, let's see. Yes, the oven is on 400. And I cooked some bacon while we go for our um, ice, uh, uh, iceberg lettuce wedge salad. That's going to be delicious with some blue cheese dressing. And also, the blue cheese dressing is what we're going to use to dip our chicken wings in. So, I'm going to do this batch in the barbecue. I may mix up some uh, barbecue. Hmm, I'll think about that. And if I mix it up, I'll tell you about it. So I'll see y'all back whenever these come out of the oven. Uh, probably, it's going to depend, y'all, 
everything depends, doesn't it? Uh, it it's going to depend on the temperature of your chicken, the size of your chicken, the, the however hot your oven likes to cook. So I'm going to check on these in about 20 minutes. And I'm going to get my tester out, and I will, I think it's 190 when they're done. I'll tell you for sure when I come back. But uh, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put the rest of these in there and get these ready so we can eat some dinner around here. See you back in a little bit. Now this is going to be our blue cheese dressing. And we're going to use this on as our salad dressing and also with our uh, chicken wings that I'm cooking. But this is a half a recipe, but I'll include this at the top also. I have a half a cup of, of sour cream, a half a cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of lemon juice, which was half of this lemon that we didn't use a while ago. It does call for three drops of hot sauce, which we don't care for that, so I left it out, but you could do that. And then a half a tablespoon of Worcestershire and a fourth teaspoon of minced garlic. And the blue cheese, it says an ounce and a half, but I'm just going to, let's see, we're just going to eyeball this. Some people like more, some people like less, and it depends on what the size of your crumbles are. And so, I don't know, this is what, probably what y'all think, three, four tablespoons. Now, I did use my immersion blender whenever I was mixing this to make sure that these two things were really smooth. Obviously, not going to use the immersion now. I'm just going to use my my little wooden spoon here. Now, these little, these wide mouth jars are so practical to keep around the house. Now, I have been buying big boxes of cereal because things are getting a little scant around here. And in the great big wide mouth jars, I've been... Um, Vacuum sealing. Let me show you what I've been using. Hang on a minute, y'all. I ordered these off of Amazon. One of these days, we'll do a real uh, video on this. But the way you would use these, you put your flat cap on. Well, let me show you on this honey mustard what you would do. You would put your flat cap on. And then you would take, this is the large mouth, so I would use the large mouth. Slip it over the top. There's a little tube that you connect this to your vacuum sealer and push go and it vacuum seals it. And y'all, whenever it's done like that, you can actually, how am I going to get that out of there? You can actually pick this up by the, I'll do that later. You can actually pick this up and it is sealed. Now it's not canned and it's not water bath, but it's good for like dried cereal, dried rice, beans, anything that's a dry product. You can uh, vacuum seal it like that and it'll keep longer on the shelf for you. I kind of chased the rabbit on that one, didn't I? This is a very easy and quick honey mustard salad dressing or honey mustard spread for your sandwiches. It's very easy to throw together. Now, this particular recipe calls for a fourth of these products, but you could double this, you could half it, but I will include the original recipe in the verbiage at the top. But I've used a wide mouth jar and I did use my immersion blender to, to blend it. You could use a regular blender. Uh, you could use a whisk, but it'll take a little longer with the whisk because the mayonnaise is kind of glumpy. But I have a fourth a cup of honey, a fourth a cup of mustard. Now this is Dijon, but you can use yellow mustard if you like, or any kind of um, uh, Grey Poupon, whatever you, whatever you have. Uh, you can just use any mustard. And then a fourth a cup of mayonnaise, I have a teaspoon of salt, a fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, the juice of half a lemon, and I blend this up. Now, if I'm using yellow mustard, a lot of times I'll need to go back and add a little bit more or a little apple cider vinegar. But this recipe doesn't call for it because I find with this, I don't need the extra. <laughs> but uh, that is what is in this jar. And so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and I'm gonna show you the blue cheese dressing that we're also gonna have today. Well, these chicken wings are out of the oven, and it took about 45 minutes. I cooked them about 25 minutes on one side, and then I flipped them. And I got my, what did I do? Hang on a minute. Because I know sometimes y'all want to know the name of products. This is called a um, Expert Grill, but any of these digital thermometers are worth their weight because it'll keep you from getting sick. Chicken is done at 165. I let these go to 190. It's going to be fine. One of them was 205, and I didn't want to call that one either. It's going to be wonderful. Now, I did mix up a barbecue dipping sauce, and all it is is half mayonnaise and half sweet baby raised sugar-free 
uh, barbecue sauce. So if you were doing keto, you could have this as well. We don't want to leave any of our friends out, do we? We do not. Okay, but I'm going to have blue cheese. And I'll attach that uh, recipe because we made this blue cheese to go with our wedge salad. I have the honey mustard recipe for salad dressing, and I will attach that. But it makes a great sandwich spread and dipping sauce as well. But I'm going to use blue cheese. And I'm just going to put this in this bowl. Now, I love to get blue cheese at the restaurants when I get chicken wings. But a lot of times, they put them in a little container, y'all. You can't get the wing down in it. I like to choose a, like, this is a glass container that's about the size of holding your hands together, you know, like it's time to get communion, stuff like that. But let's see, I'm going to have, the flats are my favorite. Do y'all have a favorite? So I'm just going to get a couple flats. And if you have your chicken very, very dry before you put it in the oven, it'll get crispy for you. So let's just see what we think about this. This is going to go good with those ball games, y'all. That is good, y'all. And we didn't even have to go to town to get chicken wings, so. If you're watching the ball games, I hope your team wins. If you're not watching the ball games, I hope you're doing something fun. And like and share this recipe if you want to with your friends and family and any other home cooks that you love and adore. Share and follow them and share their recipes to your friends. I'll see you next time. We're fixing to, we're fixing to dive in. We'll see you later. You ready to eat?